Hellos, how is everybody today? Today is April 17th. It is a Tuesday. It is tax day here in the U.S. Tax day 2018. And it is 7 p.m. New York, uh, New York Daylight Savings Time. How is everybody? Let's see who we have in the chat room tonight. We have Vanessa Rose. Vanessa Angel Rose is in the house. And Laura Mack is here. Dar is there. Cheshire Cat. Kathy Whitney. And let's see. Then we've got Crystal McGuire. We have Michelle from Little Craft Creations. Julie Wright is in the house. Shelly Carlson. Janet. Wanda. Claire, Jane, good. We have a good group in here tonight. Joy Mitchell Carter, Barbara McCullough. Uh, there's Sassy T. How are you, darling? And Crystal is in the house. Crystal Valentine Johnson. Tina is in the house. Starting over. Gloria Schmidt, Crystal McGuire, Clara Anderson. Starting over. Tina. And CJ, hate tax day. <laughs> Don't you know it, girl. <laughs> CJ Mangioni is here, too. And Mr. Nightbot, as always. I don't see my son or daughter-in-law yet. I'm good, T. I'm good. So it's been rather cool all day today. I've been very, very chilly, to say the least. Hi, Joyce. Joyce Boring is in the house. I think I need to put some hand lotion on my very dry hands. Hello, Diana. Diana Warner is here. Charity Olson is here. All right. So I hope this uh, Tuesday afternoon evening is has been good to you so far. Hope your week's been going well. Windy as hell there, huh? Wow, they closed the airport. That's not good. Don't try and fly into Denver, people. The airport's closed. Hello, Heather Cat Lady is in the house. Alrighty, got some hand lotion rubbed into my hands here. Did I cut my hair? Hello, Kim Marie. No, I did not cut my hair. I just have it um, pinned up. My hair is down to the bottom of my rear end, so I have not cut it. All right. So we got a good group in the house. I have a bit of happy mail. Um, I'm going to open it up. It's from CJ, and CJ is in the house. And I will switch to the overhead once I get the get the envelope opened. Because I don't want to display her address. There's one. You don't remember my window? Well, um, during the summer I usually have it covered. Um, because my air conditioner is in there. So, okay, but yeah, this window has always been here. What you don't, what you don't, don't re remember seeing probably is the fact that it, it was it's daylight out. Um, New York switched to daylight savings time. Okay, let's see what we got. Let me switch to the overhead, and I will zoom in. I moved my camera angle a wee bit. Ooh, what is this? Cushion clamp. Cool. Yvonne got one of these gifted. Oh, that's good. Holds her free wire. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very, very much. Eliminates the use of tape. Oh, that's fantastic. So CJ has sent me um, a cushioned 
clamp that you can hold down if you are working with a piece that um, if you're working with a piece that has loose wire on it uh, and you're trying to hold everything all together you can use this soft clamp to clamp down on it and it will hold the wires and the piece in place that's really really cool thank you so much very cool so thank you very much Heather sit down <laughs> why is Heather being told to sit down <laughs> Fingers crossed, no falling asleep, especially the falling part. Yes, yeah, sit down, please. Hi, Karen. Aw, oh, thanks, Janet. All righty. So thank you very much, CJ. That was really nice. Put that aside. So what I've been working on is um, a number of years ago, um, I found a lady on eBay who had visited the Czech Republic and ended up buying the entire contents of a Czech glass button factory. So she got she got all the stock. Uh, that's not part of it. And these are not part of it. But I think to this day she's still selling these um, on eBay. Hi, Sherry. Um, be because I have seen I have seen more of these um, available. So I believe that you know, like ten years later, she is still um, selling these buttons. I have no idea how much inventory was in there, but these are all vintage and they are all glass check beads and they are absolutely beautiful. There's all different kinds. Um, there's another one. There's square ones. This one has a spider on it. What else? Do we have we have that pretty sweet little one there and we have a celtic knot so these are some of the buttons that i i purchased and um, i've been trying to figure out a way i could use them in my jewelry so i had done this type of bail before this not bail um bevel bezel bezel uh, where I had done um, a woven pattern and inserted seed beads along it let's see if you can see it there you go you can barely see them they're very pale pink um, so I thought well that might work to capture the bead so I spent the afternoon doing that and I'm at this point now where I'm going to try and create a bale. And I was trying to come up with other ways of doing that with these other buttons to make pendants. Hi, Holly. Hi, Kathy. So, um, yeah, I thought this was real pretty. The, all sorts of different colors in this. They all have like an AB coating on them. So you have the gold, you have purple, you have pink, green. Um, and they are, they're just really, really beautiful, uh, beautiful buttons. I'm trying to get you the, the purple. You can almost see it there. So, uh, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out a way of, of doing that. Do I... Do you follow a book? No, I don't. Um, basically, if, I, if I've if i seen a YouTube video where um, I saw this, this bezel being made by, um, I believe it was Yvonne uh, Williams. And um, I've done this, this same type of bezel 
before on a piece of fluorite that I actually listed in my uh, in my shop just recently I just finished the piece so what makes this such a good bezel is that you're using an odd number of wires and um, the pattern allows for you to bend the bezel around the object um, and the beads the little seed beads just add a nice touch so um, that's basically where I am now at this point and you know I, I I'm leaving this on there I could use a grinder and grind it off but uh, hi Linda but I don't I really don't want to um, damage it you know because I want people to know that this is a vintage check glass button um, oh good Karen I'm glad you got that How's, how, is, how are you doing? You've been going to the dentist to get your teeth fixed? Karen um, had a bit of, uh, bit of an accident. She kind of face planted on the, on the sidewalk uh, a couple weeks ago. So she's been going to get her teeth fixed. So anyway, so I'm very clumsy. I'm very klutzy. And, um, you know, I'm probably going to be struggling with this quite a bit tonight. So I didn't know if I wanted to try and continue to work on this or if I should look at some of the other buttons in, in this box. Hi, Carrie Ann. Let's see, hang on a sec. Frozen Charlottes and other dolls. Yeah, I don't like dolls. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, I don't know if I should if I should waste your time uh, trying to come up with um, a bail on this or not you know or if I should uh, move on to something else but I thought I would show this to you because it will end up in my Etsy store pretty soon yeah T my god your concrete makeover has a relatively good outcome oh that's good Two days after the incident, I already had the damage repaired enough to the point that I have temporary... Oh, that's wonderful, Karen. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Um, yeah, T, you got to check out Cracked Heart Studio. You have got to check out the page she did with my, uh, with my friendship envelope. Oh, my God. It's not a page. It's a little journal all of its own. It's just unbelievable. T, you really, you rocked. You rocked that page so much. That was really, really good. Hello, Vicki. Hello, Joyce Meredith Green. Oh, I'm glad you have a good dentist. Wow. <laughs> he squeezed you into a full schedule by giving up his lunch and shower and he came in early. Well, that's good. Oh, honey, you could not have possibly disappointed. That was the page you did was just amazing. It really was fantastic. Yeah, I know, Holly. It was fantastic. So anyway, so... Um, I don't know if I should continue on with this or if I should play with something else that's in the box. I'll, I'll think about it. For the meantime, I'll put it over there. Um, but I'm having troubles trying to come up with other ways of wrapping these. Now see, this has the same type of uh, fixture on the back. This is some kind of uh, vintage glue of sorts. And it has holes on four sides. Hi, Helen. How are you? Uh, Cracked Heart Studio, Karen. Yeah, Cracked Heart's journal page. Wasn't that fantastic? Hello, Lisa. How are you? So anyway, so um, uh, this one has a, a much thinner edge on it. So I don't know. Hello, Kimberly. How are you? I don't know if um, make, making chokers out of them by sewing them onto velvet ribbon. Yeah, I could see that. 
Um, that's a good idea. Um, so anyway, this one has a thinner edge. Maybe that won't be easier to wrap. I, I just, I don't, I don't know at this point. There's so many different buttons here. There's, there's the spider. Um, what else do we have? I'm not even sure if these are all the ones that I have. They may be hidden elsewhere. Um, this one has some, some pretty burgundy color in the background behind the leaves. This one's kind of, uh, I like this one. It's kind of, uh, oh, I don't know what you would call it, but it's got the gold blobs on it and then a bunch of different colors in the background. Really, really cool. What did Heather say? You were watching a live stream last night and was trying to stay awake by standing. Uh oh. <laughs> you uh oh, you fell down, huh? Oh dear, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey Emily, how are you? Hi Lori. Okay, so anyway, um, Try and figure out a way that we can we can play with these. Oh, and there's these tiny little tiny kitty cat buttons. They are just the sweetest little thing. And I think they come yeah they in different colors. There's pink, and there's the red. Let me just pour these out. There's all sorts of stuff in this jar. Um, we have these sweet little baby ones. That one's broken. There's another one of the kitty cats. This one has a black painted face. It's so cute. Come on, focus. There you go. Don't know if there's... Oh, here's a green one. What are the colors? Green. More green. There's the other part of that broken one. Get through that out. Well, hi, Lori. Thanks for popping in. I love buttons. Uh, they are they are addicting. Uh, you can tell that this is this was downstairs in my shop because there's gold leaf in here. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there were any other colors of the kittens. Looks like pink, red. And green were the only ones I got. But they're cute. And I have these these I bought around the same time, but they're obviously they're not they're not vintage. They are they're new. Um, and I just think that they're a scream. I love them. So these will probably uh, I'll put I'll put together an assortment of these buttons. Uh, and beads for the giveaway tonight. Uh, these are just mother of pearl. Make something with the kitties. I don't have that many. Um, and let's see. Let me see if I can find. It looks like all the shanks are intact. But I don't know if I have enough. Hi, Kelly. Oops. One just fell and I don't know where it went. Let's 
I felt it fall out of my hand. I don't know where it went. Let's see if there's any more hiding in here. Uh, there's another green one. I don't think I've got enough on here of these guys to make. There's a pink one. Another pink one. Not sure I got enough to make a bracelet. You can spot them rather quickly, huh? Yeah, Heather. <laughs> Let me see what Karen said. Make a bracelet, weave them in like you did with their the linked beads. Make a bracelet, weave them in like you did the ink beads. All right, let me let me scroll up. You see a couple more kitty ones in the pink, okay? It's like for pierced ears, but where the earring part would go is just a flat disc. Oh yeah, I don't think I have any of those. Um, I might have. A few. All right, there's another burgundy color. Um, I'm looking for the kitties. Aha! There's another green one. Um, and I think. Oh, there's another one. I think that's it, guys. I think that's the end of... There's some real pretty Mother of Pearl buttons in here. And these are actually cufflinks, little cufflinks, or... Those, I think, were my mother's. Let me go through the rest of these. Yeah, those are from my mother's button box. Let's get rid of some of this. There is another kitty cat. I do like me some beads. Hey Patricia, how are you? shell beads or not beads they're buttons dum dum they're buttons these are cool buttons Mother had so many of these shell buttons. All right, here's the kitties. The big purple ones, these? Yeah, this is pretty, isn't it? That would that I could easily make into a pendant because I, the the bezel on the side here is um, is not really high, so that would probably even work with this with this bezel. So you see the kitties, yep. <laughs> Trying to find all the ones that don't belong in the, the batch here that were my mother. I probably have more of these. I just don't know where where they are right now.
Aren't they great? These are from an old check button factory. Somebody bought them out. They went there on vacation or something, and they it was an like opportunity of a lifetime. They bought all the contents of the factory. I think they bought the molds, the machines, and all the buttons that were in the in the factory. So there are lots of them here. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get my hands on some more of them. That's a very sweet one. A very, very little flower. It's real pretty. All right, I don't see any more kitties. But I do still see a lot of these mother of pearl and shell beads, buttons, whatever you want to call them. Pick them out of the mess here. Very sweet. I do like these. Oh, starting over's name is Tina. Hi, Mary. Do I know the measurements of the purple flower buttons with the and the square buttons in millimeters or inches? Okay, the purple flower and the square. Okay. The purple floral buttons are 33 millimeter across and the squares are 23 millimeter okay so 23 millimeter and 33 millimeter that's the size of these buttons and I dropped it And this is a smaller, a smaller one. Hang on, let me go pick up my... The Celtic buttons are uh, 17 mil, 17 millimeter. Hi, Diana. Okay. Um, and these again, these are not part of the vintage series, but um, I like them. These are actually beads, so. Okay. So, I think we have determined that we have Let's see. Do we have enough of these to make something? We have 5 of those. Five of these and five of these. We have 15 of the kitty cats. You like the green and coral, this one? Yeah, these are really, really sweet. 
And then there's another one that kind of looks, no, it doesn't really have the same color. Okay, so anyway, <clears throat> that's what we're dealing with. Um, now, if I'm going to try and make a bracelet out of these, I got to get all the crumbs off of this. This is driving me crazy. So those are the buttons that I have collected over the years. Let me get all the chunks off of this piece of suede. Now I don't know how, I'm trying to think of a way of making these into um, a bracelet or something. Hmm. Not really sure how to go about it. The shank, the holes in the buttons are oriented from head to toe, not side to side. They are adorable. Yes, they are. They are adorable. And there are five of the green, five of the red, and five of the pink. But I don't know how to go about putting them into a piece of jewelry. Wire macrame. Yeah, I could do the wire macrame. I have a macrame board. Um, do a wire macrame and occasionally thread the button onto the metal strings. Yeah, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Um, I'd have to look up a macrame pattern though. I've done, I've done one or no, I've done a couple of the macrames. I guess I could just do, yeah, I guess, you know what? That's a good idea. I could make three bracelets. That is a good idea. Cause I could, I could intersperse other, other colors. So I think that's what I'll do. <laughs> Everybody wants the kitty pattern, the kitty buttons. Do you remember the way you string seed beads in a pattern? Actually, no, I have not done that. Yeah, they are kitties. They are little tiny kitties. I'll pick them up and show them to you. There you go. Aren't they adorable? Yeah, I know. So many of you are kitty fans. So I think what I could do is I could do a macrame. And I'm trying to think. I've got a macrame. Um, bracelet that I had made over here. Let me look at that. Okay. Let me get a macrame board out because I have been gifted with them. Right. 
So this was I do have a macrame. I made this. This is a five strand. So I guess I could do a three strand. Hello, Barbara. Yeah, I guess I could do three strands, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let me open this up. Scissors. Come on, open up. plastic stuck to my fingers. It's still cool here. I don't get it. Every time I touch something I still get a shock. So there's actually patterns um, on here but this is for rope not wire. Very very pretty. And see that looks like one of these vintage buttons. So that's cool. So I guess we can play with this and I'm gonna guess that a 22, 22 gauge wire should be pretty good. I will have to zoom out so you can see what's going on. I moved my camera and my lighting around a wee bit today, so... Okay. Let me try and straighten this out a wee bit. To cut that off. <sighs> you can't pet them? Aww. Are you allergic to them? All right, so trying to remember how I put this one together. The working wires were longer Oh, Chinese food for dinner. That works. I'm trying to remember how I did this. Yeah, three of them were longer than the rest. Okay. All right, so... And that is a long bracelet. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going for. Oh, bye, T. Okay. So I'm going to go with 30 centimeters, and you can't see what I'm doing. I'm going to do two of them that are 30 centimeters. And then I 
going to do three of them that are, say, how much longer? That was quite a bit longer, but I didn't need that much. So I'll say 50. There. There's 30. Actually, no, that's all. That's all I need, I think. Right? So I only need one. Because I'm doing three strands. I'm just thinking in my head, guys. So, you know, there, if there's any kind of figuring going on, Mama has a meltdown. So, I'm going to have one center wire and two working wires. And that one will go over there for later. And then I'm going to have to find some beads that I can put in there with them. Okay. Stick that over there like that. And okay. All right, let me straighten this out. It's got a bit of a bend in it. Straighten this wire out. Okay, so I'm not following a pattern, which probably means that this is going to get screwed up. But I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing and I'm going to run with it. That can go over there. I have to find some beads that I can put in and mix with this. Go over there. I do have pink here, but do I have the right color pink? salmony color. I don't know if they really go. Not really. They don't go. Let me look. And this Fake it till you make it, I know. That is Yvonne Williams' motto. Fake it till you make it. All right, let's see. No, they don't go. These go, but these are pink opal. But I can't use these. Um, I need something uniform. How would they work? Oh, they go. A little bit larger than I had wanted. 
uh, what am I attempting to make? I'm going to make a small macrame. Uh, how about gold or silver? Okay, I could do that. That's, that's a good idea. I have these these beads that I could use. Um, I'm going to make a macrame bracelet with these with these vintage kitten buttons. For those of you that came in late, I have five in pink, red, and green. So I'll make uh, a bracelet that you know kind of. Um, yeah, use your words, Melissa. That has five of these beads on it. These are some silver beads. I could use those, I guess. They might work. Ooh, potato and pepper steak soup. That sounds interesting. I had salad. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go that route. I have these to use with the green, and I think they will work nice. Yes, they will work really good. I do have some other beads floating around. Let me go take a look. These would work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I found some. I think these will work. I like that color better. Oh, thanks, Sherry. I like beads. This was actually one whole necklace or one whole pack of beads from Walmart and they were all separate strands. Come on. There we go. Now these are slightly different color. Please use your words. You're not fluent in sign language. <laughs> you know I used to be fluent in sign language. My aunt worked at the Cleary School for the Deaf, and I took a, a sign language course. So we could use those, or we could use the silver. Maybe we'll, we'll stick with the silver. Okay. Will those beads fit on the wire? Yes, they will. This, the holes are plenty big enough. I also have some accents. Little metal hematites, but nah. We'll stick with these silver ones. And we'll see how it works. Coral! Yes, coral! Alrighty, so I'm going to start by doing some square knots on here and I will try and move this and zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Um, but don't emulate me pe people because this, I don't know, I'm not using a pattern or anything. So I may very well get halfway through this and say, you really screwed up girl. Alright, so 
when you're doing when you're doing one of these uh, square knot designs, you should always make sure that you start with the same side. Um, always start with the same side. That way your square knots look even. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken the left side and I've put it over the middle and under the right. And then I'm taking the end of the right and I'm putting it under the middle and up through the loop on the left. Okay. And then I am cinching this up. And at the same time, I am straightening out these wires. Now that was one half of a square knot. So to make the other half of the square knot, you do the exact opposite. You take the right side and you put it over the middle wire. And then you take the left side and you put it under the middle wire and up through the loop on the right. Okay, and then you pull snugly and you get a little square knot. And again, I use my thumb to straighten out these and I think I'm going to do five square knots and then I'll add a bead, a kitten, and a bead. Okay, so that's side one. What size is the wire? The wire is size 20 or no, size, size 22. And it's para wire, copper core, silver plated silver. Okay, so that's one and a half. And this will be two. Do I have any issue with the wire work hardening? Yes, it will work harden. It will. But I start with dead soft. And para wire is really, really, really fantastic stuff. And it's from New Jersey, East Orange. I mean, it's pretty close to me. I could probably, you know, pull up there and, and you know, fill my truck up with this stuff. And I may, I may actually decide to do that. They have dozens and dozens of colors. Um, this is all copper core and it's all premium quality. It has a non-tarnish non finish on it. It has enameled colors on it. Um, and the website is parawire.com. Okay, so, all right, so that's two. But yeah, I love me Parawire. So. This is two and a half. Um, it does, it does work hard in it, but especially by doing this, by running my thumb across it, I'm actually kneeling it to some point. Um, I'm taking the, the kinks out of it and I'm also heating it up with my fingers. So it does, um, it does stay usable. I, I mean, if you really, 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 copper makes it more flexible, but it's also dead soft. Okay, there's been no, no hardening attempted at all. So you can work hard in it, and the more you work hard in it, the more brittle it becomes. So if you really kink it up and you really are very hard on your wire, it's going to break. Um, copper makes it more affordable. So I don't I don't work in um, in sterling silver or gold plate or because uh, I just I can't afford that stuff. That's cost prohibitive. So I use either copper or I use um, the the copper um, uh, silver coated copper. 
Okay, so this will be number four. Is number four and it's pretty easy to count. You got one, two, three, four. That's four and a half. Yes, it is copper core. Yes. And that's five. And even their copper has a non-tarnish coating on it. So it doesn't, you know, turn green. It doesn't change the color of your skin. Um, it's just, it's a beautiful wire to work with. And, I mean, if you like to use colored wires, they have, like I said, dozens and dozens of colors. Um... So there is the five, let me get this pop up out of my way. Thank you. Um, this wire is a pleasure to work with. I've tried others. I tried the cheap stuff from China. It's horrible. Copper is a soft metal. All right, so I've got five of these. And now I'm going to release the middle wire and I'm going to put a silver bead yeah I did macrame back in the 70s it was uh, it was big you know everybody was doing it Now this kitty cat is going to twirl. There's nothing I can do about that. So now let's see if I can't get this pinched back down. You don't like the feel of cord? Yeah. And I think that these beads will actually probably get sucked underneath it. But we're going to run with it and we're going to see what happens. Macrame underneath the kitty. That's a good idea. Alright, so then if I'm going to do that, what I'll do is I'll do... Let me, let me spread this out a wee bit. If I do one of these and then a square knot and then I could probably get one square knot on each side of the shank so I'm trying to space this out to see how I want to make sure that the kitty cats are um, if you did a bead then knot then kitty then knot then bead yeah that's that's what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out my spacing right now these are approximately two centimeters high or if we're dealing in, in uh, English they're like five, almost almost three quarters of an inch tall and I only have five of them. So I'm going to do a bead, a square knot, a kitten, and there'll be a square knot, and then another, and then, um, yeah, and then another bead. Just want to spa space this out. You see, oh, you think half a square knot, the kitty, then half a square knot. Okay, 
I could do that. Hi, Stephanie. How are you, darling? I am making um, a bracelet out of vintage kitty cat buttons. These are vintage check glass kitty cat bee, uh, buttons that I've had for probably 10, 15 years, maybe longer. And I'm just trying to work out the spacing right now. So yeah, if I do one bead and then a square knot, and then the cat, and then another square knot, aren't they adorable? I'm just, I'm just wondering how, how much space it'll take. I think it's going to be a square knot and a half underneath, underneath the, uh, the shank on either side of the shank. I think I think that would make make a bracelet. I'm also trying to make sure that I have um, what do you call it? Enough wire. Yes, they are glass. Um, these these I'm not sure. I, th I would assume these are glass. They're either glass or metal. I think they are probably glass. They feel cool. Um, well, I have I have the kitty cats. I have five in three different colors. So I have the rest of the bracelet scrolling down here. I was zoomed in so you could see what, what I was doing. Yeah, these these buttons are just so cool. So I'm just trying to work out the spacing, you know, before before I commit to anything. I guess I could zoom out so you could see what I'm doing. And I'll sh scoot that ahead. So if I do one square nut under here, and then there would be a square nut on either end. If you see the back, the shank, I could easily get a square uh, square knot underneath the top and bottom of the shank. And that will secure the, the kitty cat. Hopefully it'll keep it from rotating. And then do another square knot and a bead. And then another square knot and another bead. Okay, get some more of these beads out. Yeah, these are really cool. Um, I think they're glass. Pretty sure they're glass. Um, it would also look pretty just using one of each color. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to do that. I wouldn't know. I mean, that would give me a lot more bracelets, that's for sure. Bead, square knot, cat, square knot, bead. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It won't, yes, it won't rotate once the square knot is underneath it. That's what I like about this. You can, this is like multi, multi-level. But before I place the first cat, I want to make sure I've got the, the, the spread evenly. You know, I don't want to have all of them piled up here and then have four inches of bare wire down here. And, you know, math gets in the picture at this point and Mama has a meltdown. So this is, how, how big is this? Where did my ruler run off to? My ruler ran off. There it is. Okay. So that is roughly 
uh, three quarters of an inch for five of the knots. So getting out my calculator, if we wanted to make this say seven and a half inches, so well, let's go. Let's go with six and a half. Two or three standing up and then slide the other cats upside down. Oh, okay. So, well, I, I have five. I have five of each color. So, there would be three that, were, three that went one way. So, I think I'll just put them all in one. Yeah, math, help, no. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. Um, I have the five square knots up here that started out and they're three quarters of an inch. So I'll have that I'll have an inch and a half taken up by um, why spin them around? I don't plan on I don't plan on spinning them. So I'll have one and a half inches tied up in um, and the ends. So if we want to do six and a half inch minus that gives me five inches. So I have five inches to play with and these are roughly three quarters of an inch. So I want to I want these to be split up evenly. You know what I'm saying? So that leaves me with five inches to play with. I think uh, yeah, I think if we Yeah, I'm thinking that this is going to be what we're doing. I believe, I believe, I believe. Yep, I think that's going to work. You like thinking out loud? Yeah, when I think out loud, loud I get panicky. Because people can be listening to me and <laughs> I sound like a knucklehead. Um, I don't I don't think aloud too well when it comes to math. I usually just start drooling and I call my husband. <laughs> yes, I'm going to put a bead in between them. So there's going to be a bead, a square knot, and then... An, and then another square knot yeah okay a bead a square knot and if I don't like it I just cut the wire off that's what, another good thing about this um, power wire is that it's very reasonable as far as price All right, so I have one silver bead here. Yes, I am putting a bead in between them. Okay, so there's that. And again, just remember to always start on the same side so that um, your square knots all look the same. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to slide one of these on here and I'm going to see what kind of spacing it gives me. Because the shank is going to sit on top of one of these. And I will zoom back in guys in a second. If I do that, uh, 
Okay, I'm reading the chat room here. Put two at the top. Put two at the top. Half a square in between the bead and the full square before and after the kitty. Okay, so let me get this straight. I put one bead, CJ, and now I'm going to do two square knots. And then I'm going to do half a square. No, put two at the top. Two, two what at the top? Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Wrong way, dummy. I have one bead and then half a square knot and one bead. Uh, I put, all right, I, I have to undo this then because I already put a full square. I'm just going to leave this full one here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to undo it because that'll make a mess out of my wire. All right, so I have one bead and I have one square knot and now I'm going to put another bead on. And hang on a second. CJ, I'm going to make you a moderator so you don't get pinched as far as posting too much. Okay. All right, so I have one bead, one square knot. And unfortunately, like I said, I already have a full square knot here. Oh, you snuck vitamins into your kids' food, Kelly? For shame. <laughs> you hate it when that happens, don't you? All right, so I have one, one bead. And I have a square knot. And then I'm going to put in another bead. Okay. And then half a square knot. It's actually going to end up being put it on put on another bead. I did put on another bead. And now I'm going to do half a square knot. There's half a square knot. Cuz see CJ CJ is a jeweler. She does this. Okay, and then a, then, a, then a full square knot. All right, so I'm just going to finish this one and then do half a square knot underneath the kitty because nobody will see it. Okay, and then half a square knot and a kitty. Half a square And a kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty, kitty. There. Tuck you back. And now... Hello, Renee! How are you, my love? And now we're going to do... half right now the spacing doesn't look too bad it the second bead is coming right over his head so then one square knot and a half and then add a bead yeah Hello, Sandra. How are you? All 
All right, so this is going to be the full square knot. Now, Oh, you're getting over a migraine. Oh, boy. Well, I hope it goes away soon. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to add a bead. And that works well. The one and a half um, knots underneath the kitten actually work very well. It keeps the bead exposed. You can actually see it. Migraines are horrible. I don't get migraines. I get cluster headaches. Okay. And now another bead. And then the one and a half. And I should have made my working wire longer. I'm discovering that's one. If I have to cut this apart and redo it, I will. Um, all right, so this will be the half. Come on. That's the half. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. There you are. And I'm wondering how much space I've got up here. I think I got enough. I'll try and give me a wee bit more tuck space down here at the bottom. Okay. Working wires are usually five times the length. Oh, oops. Yeah. Well, I will have to splice it in. Five times. I didn't know that little five times rule. Thank you very much. I will remember that now. That's for sure. Sit, kitty. That was a half. Okay. And this will be the whole one. Okay. I'm I'm just following CJ's instructions. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm doing, girl. Um, but yeah, this is coming out cute, isn't it? This first one, like I said, this first one may end up getting um, cut apart and, and redone. But um, all three of these will go up in my Etsy shop.
Isn't it adorable? I think these buttons are just so stinking cute. I can't stand it. I think I'm going to have to go on the hunt and see if she's still around. Okay. That's one. Now we'll do another bead. So yeah, this will definitely, this one is a practice run for spacing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to splice in another one. But I'll finish this all up. I know you're biased with the kitty. I know. Don't, don't cut. Don't cut add wire with square knot under kitty. Oh, okay, okay, that works. Okay, there's that. Now it's time for another kitty. Yeah, they are. Oh, they are expensive. Yeah. All right, so time for a other kitty. I got to do another half a knot. Oh, you made one with miniature schnauzers. Oh, that must have been so cute, Kelly. That's so cool. All right, so we're doing another half here. Time for another kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Okay. And at this point, it seems like a good time to be adding more wires. Okay, let me straighten these out. Okay, there we've got, we've got... 30. Well, let's see. I'm about halfway done, so I'll do 60. I'll do two more of them at 60. This is 22 gauge. Yes, it is. I'll show you the label in one second, sweetheart. Let me just get another piece of 60. And then I will show you the label. Okay, here is the wire that I am using. It is Parawire from Parawire.com. 22 gauge silver plate silver. Oh, wow, Helen. Helen found a check button with a rooster on it. It was like 13, 13 ounce. Oh, 13 Australian dollars a button. Oh, my God. Um, I use I use Parawire exclusively because I love it. They ship very, very fast. They're right in New Jersey. I'm probably going to send them an email and ask them, can I stop at your factory? Can I fill my truck up? Okay. So, how much was this wire? It depends. Uh, there, um... Mm, yeah, hang on. Off the top of my head. You can buy it in bulk or standard lengths. So let me go to Parawire. Just give me one second and I'll, I'll pop over to Parawire. And I will show you. There we go. Okay, hang on one sec. Shot by color. Silver. Okay, I'll switch to desktop. And 
this is non-tarnished silver and it's available in gauges 12 through 34. Um, they also have square, half round, and twisted. Um, all the crafty peeps, other peeps don't understand. Oh, don't you worry, don't you worry about it, Helen. Don't you worry about it. Everybody understood. I was the one that it was having problem with the ounce to OZ, but that's fine. All right, so Emily's question was how much did this wire cost? This is 22 gauge. It is round, and I bought the bulk size. And it's five. It's thirty-five dollars for five hundred feet. Okay, so it's five hundred feet, and it was thirty-five dollars. Um, the twenty-eight gauge, which I use a lot of. Hang on. You're not going to let me change. All right, hang on one second. Let me refresh the screen. Okay, here we go. Round 28 gauge bulk. Come on, bulk. It may not be in stock. Let's try the 20 gauge. 300 feet. $35. And that's for this, the 20 gauge. And if they don't if they don't have one roll that's 300 feet long, they'll send you, you know, a bunch of these. Oh, that would be great, Stephanie. Yeah. I love Parawire because you can get it in all different colors too. 22 gauge silver plate, 200 feet for 1039. Yeah, but you don't know the quality of it. You don't know if the plate is going to come right off. The bulk would get you the best price, Emily. Yes. Okay, so yeah, the bulk would get you the best price. Okay, so um, getting back to this, I was going to add. A new wire right under here. And I'm going to scooch one end under there Let me get this out of my way and scooch one end under here um yeah emily all you have to do is write down this link okay parawire.com p-a-r-a-w-i-r-e Dot com. Okay. Hey, Ray, how are you, darling? All right, so I've done the half there. So now I'm going to do a full one. And yeah, how does, how is that going to work? Hmm. Don't worry about cutting the other wire until you finish the bracelet. Right. But somehow I've got to make a loop here. And Mama's getting confused. Yeah, Emily, just write it down. It's it's pretty pretty simple. Okay, so do you all get tiger wire over there? Yes, we do. We do get that. I'm just going to put a little crimp here because I don't know how to add a wire in when I'm supposed to be working with a loop. 
put new wire put new wire over old sticking out sideways like I just did here like that No, okay. Undoing it. <laughs> Hi, Kiki. How are you feeling? Like a you behind. Oh, okay. Okay. So like this take the middle of the wire and make a U okay I've done that and what slip it underneath Flip it like that. Okay, I got it. So I'll just add in one piece at a time. So, yes, so the U is facing north. It is. It's underneath the kitty's rear end. Okay. Put your wire, put wires over old wire. Okay, it's over it. It is over it. And create half a square knot. Well, I have to do, I already did the half a square knot. So I have to, at this point, I have to do a whole square knot. Come on now, come back. There we go. See, you know, if you follow the instructions that the instructor gives you, everything works out fine. Hello, little C. I tell you what, man. CJ knows her stuff. I'll tell you. Look at that. That's perfection. That works brilliantly, lady. Brilliant. And I can deal with the little hangy doodle ends later. Come back here. Sit, Ubu. Okay. Now we need the silver wire. I mean the silver bead. CJ is fantastic, people. Fantastic. that so what so what do you do with the other pieces that are left behind those you can you can tie in after after the bracelet's done um, you'll go around around the back of the bracelet and you'll just loop them in and you'll make tight loops on them just learned screwing it up a lot <laughs> Well, thank you for, for, you know, preventing me from screwing up a lot. There's one. 
time for a other bead. Go on there. There you go. How you feeling, Kiki? Maybe those... Let's see. I think that that would be a lot of fun. CJ, I'm game. What gauge wa is the wire? It is 22 gauge wire from Parawire. 22 gauge silver plated silver. It is a copper core wire. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Thanks for being here. Yes, the concept would work with hemp or silk cord as well. You're getting anxious. Oh, you're starting the new chemo. Oh, on Thursday. I th Oh, I thought you were starting it today. Well, I'm keeping you in my heart, sweetie. Now we have to do a half. Oh, that would be awesome, CJ. Let's let's put our heads together. The expert teaches the dummy. Come on, tighten up. There we go. Time for the next kitty. Hi, Becky. How are you? There we go. There's his cute little butt all tucked up. Now we need one and a half down. I'll have to add in the other piece now soon. I thought I was being smart by cutting two, two more pieces. I am not a dummy. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you for saying that. Come on, tighten up, Dagnabbit. This is not tightening up for some reason. Let me get in the back here. And finagle. <clears throat> Come on. There we go. Come on now, tighten up. There. Yeah, these pink kitties are cute. Time for more beads. Or does he still need, he still needs half. He still needs a half. Yeah, you can definitely do this with, with uh, cord, hemp, or um, a silk cord, or polyester cord, or paracord. I'm live. Yeah, dummies aren't. 
the experienced teaching the inexperienced. Okay. All right. So we have to do one more. You can't see. Let me zoom out just a touch so you can see the whole whole thing here. I mean, the, the, the macrame part is really simple. Just remember to always start on the same side. Slow works great and is cheap. Oh, Eslon. Oh, okay, yeah. It's cheap and it comes in many colors. That's good. I think I have some of that. I know I've got um, Firewire because it was, you know, from, uh, what do you call it? We have a lot, we had a lot of it and spider wire for fishing. So. And that's going to be the end of this piece. I'll have to add another. I have one more kitty to put on here. That is one. No, I have to, that's half. I have to do. <coughs> and again, this is a test piece probably because I'm going to have to finagle the that is half. Um, I'm going to have to redo this. All right, so there is the last kitty bead. I think it's just adorable. I really do. I think this is a, a riot. I love it. Okay, now we have to add in this other piece. And we're going to make a U. What size is the bracelet? The bracelet is going to be roughly, I'll put in, I have five um, square knots at, top, at the top before the first bead. So, um, and that's three quarters of an inch. So I am shooting for roughly seven inch plus the, um, the clasp. So about seven and a half inches maybe. Okay, so we're putting this. like a zoe. Flippity doo da. <laughs> Joyce is a six. Well, I'm not going to give one of these away. I'm sorry. They'll be in my Etsy shop. Um, I'm going to give some of these buttons away though and some of the beads that I that I also have here. I have some real pretty, these, these red ones are really sweet. And they have small, um, they have small round ones that come, that go along too. So I'll give away like two of the round ones and one of the big ones. And then some of the other buttons that we have, um, for you guys that love kitties, I do have these beads and I I would put uh, one or two in, in the prize pack. And for those of you that um, just came in, this is a piece I started. This was another of these um, glass buttons and I wove a, um, a wire bezel with um, seed beads in the edge. Let's see if you can see the seed beads. There you go. So I haven't I haven't finished that one. Okay, but this is the last kitty cat, so we have to do one and a half under here. 
Gotta love the kitties. I can't, you know, I can't wait to get down to the farm full time because I think I'm going to get myself a kitty. I miss having a kitty around. How is Tippy, Becky? That was half. Now we'll do the full one. Hey, Lizard, how are you? Stephanie, hang out, because if you stay in the chat room, you'll have a chance at winning. Don't anybody leave. Those other cat beads would make cute earrings. Yeah, they would, wouldn't they? Okay, so now I have to stick another silver bead. Tippy is much better. Oh, I'm glad. Where did I get these beads? I got these beads probably 20, maybe I don't know, somewhere between 10 and 20 years ago on eBay. Um, this lady had a whole story about how she was traveling in, in the Czech Republic and she ran across this factory, a Czech glass bead fa button factory, and she was able to purchase the contents of the factory. And there were hundreds of thousands of buttons. So she's been selling them on um, on eBay. I believe she's probably still around. Still selling some of them because I see these beads around. Melissa, off screen. Okay. Oh, thank you. I'm off screen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. Back when you loved eBay. Yeah. I have a love-hate relationship with them. When I really want something, I love them. Okay. And that'll be the last bead. And now we're going to do five. Yeah, I don't know how much she got. Hundreds of thousands of them, I guess. And I think about four, three or four years ago, I found this box and I was playing in it and reminiscing. And I went and I looked and she was still on eBay selling them. So if I find her, I will post her info on the, on the flock group. So everybody hang out, you know, go join the flock. All right, so now I'm going to do... One, two, three, four, five. I have to do four more square knots. And yeah, I think that'll that'll work. That'll end up being seven inches. Can you ima uh, imagine her reaction when she got all those? I know, right? I know. And to be able to have the money to buy them all, too, right? Cha-ching is right. I, you know, <laughs> but, you know, I think, I think um, a lot of check buttons are now being reproduced. So that was the third. And it was the third. Exactly. She, I think she's from Europe. So maybe it wasn't that expensive. But yeah, you know, you could buy, rent a truck. That is going to be four. And the last one.
yeah, I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the macrame. And, you know, CJ, CJ sent me this board. This is fantastic. Okay, there we go. So that was five on that side. Five on that side. So let's pop this puppy off. And ignoring, ignoring the, um, the obvious tails. Let me zoom out. Here is the whole necklace. Now, what I would, not necklace, bracelet. What I would do is I would just wire wrap these around the center stem and make a hook um, and a loop. So, but let's see what, let me see how long it is. It is six and a half inches, so it'll be seven by the time you put the, the hook and loop on. Again, ignoring all the flotsam and jetsam. Cats have tails. Yes, they do. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. So, but obviously I'm going to redo this because um, I don't like the quality. But now I know this length is uh, the tail. The working working wires have to be five times the, the length of this wire. So now I know that. And now I know how to splice in others too. Um, I can continue with this one just to show you how I would end it. So I'll zoom back in. Whoops, wrong way, dum-dum. There we go. So to end this, when you look at the square knots, one side goes under naturally. When you start with the when you start with the right hand loop over the middle, then um, the loop ends up at this string ends up at the back. The, spr the string or the wire ends up at the back of the knot, naturally. When you start with the left hand, it goes this way. $7.95 each. Yeah, now see, I got them five times the length of, on each side. All right, so if I made it ten times the length of the bracelet and then just started with a U... That would be fine. I don't have purple kitties. I have red kitties and green kitties. I have these green ones. And the red ones. Okay. So, anyway, as I was saying... Um, Wrapping around to the back. I would just wrap this around neatly. Uh, you found a black with a rainbow luster finish. Oh, wow. The green one, yeah, it does kind of look like jade, doesn't it? There's a very minimal um, luster on it, but they are adorable. They're so cute. Hello, Susan. Thank you for coming. Is this your first time with us? If it is, well, welcome. Um, please do consider subscribing to my channel. And please do consider joining my Facebook group. We have lots of fun over there. Okay. So, very simply, I've just wrapped these around and now I could cut them if I wanted to. And then this last one, yeah, the red does look like garnet, doesn't it? It's a nice luster. Nice deep red color. 
Um, and at this point, I would cut these, I would mash down the ends so that they don't catch. And, um, and then this one I would turn into a loop and I can show you how, to, how I would go about doing that. Okay, so I would bend it at an angle and then pick the size loop I wanted and then wrap it all the way around. Okay. And then just wrap this around the base. Oh, this is tight. Ouch. Okay, and then, you know, cut them all down. So then you have a nice loop on this end. And I would do the same thing over here on this end. The only difference is before I tie the loop shut, I would put a lobster claw clasp in it. Okay, so at this point, now that I know what we're dealing with, I can go about and make a for real one. I love the sound they make. They sound like gems. Okay, so... I guess I can work with, let's see, I do have other colors. I think these colors would go well with the green. And I have these that would go well with the reds. They're a wee bit smaller. So maybe I'll stick with the silver beads. I think I'll stick with the silver. These are almost the size of these. I'll stick with the silver. Hello, Note Spinner, how are you? Thanks for coming. All right, so that was our that was our test, and that wire that wire that I cut was I like to work in centimeters. It's just so much easier. Thirty centimeters. You're not into pink, but it's a cat. Yeah. All right, so. Let me write this down for future reference. A white pen won't work, dear. I need a black one. Okay. So 30 cm for the center wire, and that means that I need times 10. So I need 300 centimeter of main wire. And then I need 300 cm of the working wire. Okay. And I like the 22 gauge, so I'm going to stick with it. So we'll put that one over there. And I 
I dropped a piece. Bend over and try and find it. There it is. Okay. I'll use that for my working wire. Oh, happy anniversary, Heather! I'll stick that on. And stick that on. And now to try and measure out 300 centimeters. Let me screw that up, huh? Okay. Let go of me, please. Thank you. Alright, so that is 30. Hi, Tanya! How are you, sweetheart? That's two. Three. Hi, Patty! Four. Five. I'll be with you guys in one second. I'm measuring. Six. I'm counting, which is dangerous. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, we've got ten. 10 times 30 is 300. See, I can do math. Okay, putting that aside. All right, now I'm trying to smooth this out and I've got to fold it in half and find the middle. I know I'm off screen, so just give me a second. Okay, so what I've done here is I have, oh, bye, Lisa. Susan accidentally typed by Liss, and Liss was my family nickname, Liss or Lissy. And all of a sudden, I kept looking to see if my brother was actually watching. <laughs> okay, so I'm moving the sample one that we just made. And I'm taking the center of my 300 centimeter and sticking it there. You could definitely do it with 24 gauge. It would be much more delicate. And I think that the beads that you use would have to be more delicate also, Stephanie. Hi, Kelly. But this 22 gauge is not difficult on the hands at all. It's, it's quite enjoyable. Um, this is the 24 gauge. All right, so this is going to be kind of long-winded because I'm dealing with very long lengths of wire. It could be, but you'll have to watch crimping. The, yes, you'll have to just be very careful of the, of the wire not crimping, yeah. That's the one thing about working with these long lengths of wire is that um, you have more of a chance of them crimping or getting kinked. Okay, so now to find the end of this. It 
and pull slowly on long lengths too and just keep your eye on it to make sure that it's not what happened here I did it wrong um, pull slowly on the wire on the long lengths of wire because you'll see a kink forming and you can stop it before it happens because once you get a kink it's no bueno all right so standard square knot I start with the left loop going over the middle working wire uh, center wire for 24 gauge you could use the plastic buttons yes yes Put to full screen on the phone so I can see. Computer died the other week. You want me to go this way? Is that what you wanted, Tanya? I think it would... It, yeah, if you, it, it will get kinked if you don't get the kinks out. All right, so all right. Oh, you okay? Okay, Tanya. All right. So that was the first half, and now I'm doing the exact opposite. I've put the right loop over the middle wire, and the left loop, the left end. We'll go under the middle wire. Hello, Deb. How are you? It will go underneath the working, the middle wire and up through the loop on the right. Okay. And there's one. And excuse the wire sounds. They are, the wire is all over the place here. dangly charms very cool and that goes under you did it again my god these wires are so freaking long sorry guys <laughs> macrame with wire yes macrame with wire because you know Melissa doesn't do anything easy <laughs> okay there half and I always see how I kink this up I always take my thumb and pull that out how long are they they are a hundred and fifty centimeters each actually it's three hundred centimeters long that I folded in half and looped over. Because you need five times the length of your center wire for your working wires. That is two, I believe. 
You make that look hard? You make that look hard. <laughs> yeah, that's long. It is long, that's for sure. It's not hard. I'm a klutz. Okay. Once again. Always start on the same side. Okay. You can use that loop on top as the hook. Oh, that's a great idea. Not sure it's, it might be way too long. Yeah, it will be, but that's okay. Okay, how many is that? Three? Yes, I make this look hard. Yes, I do. <laughs> I am very clumsy. Or uncoordinated. Okay, there's that. Actually, you know what? I don't think. I don't think. No, that's that was that's a half, right? No, that's a full one. No, I'm getting confused. I'm trying to see. It's much easier to count up here. There's one loop, two loop, and three loop. So there's three here. Okay. There. Your husband says that when he takes longer than normal on fixing something. Okay. Sanjay takes a long time to fix things too. Because he's doing all that math in his head. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you're having fun, Stephanie. Find the end. I need longer arms. Undo kinks before they happen. It didn't work. Kind of a personal question, isn't it? <laughs> when you said it was long, so I asked how long. Okay. <laughs> I love Monty Python. I do. He is awesome. Or they are awesome. Hang on, guys. Can you wrap lengths around? I guess I could. Let's try. Let's see if that helps. Let me finish coiling them up. Spam, spam, spam. He's an ex-parrot. He's bloody demised. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Okay. There. So. That's 
That's a full one, yes. Um, I'm just coiling it loosely like this. He is no more. <laughs> He's an ex-parrot. He's not sleeping. Oh, cool. Netflix just got all of the Monty Python stuff. Oh, my God. That's going to be awesome. Um, so that went under. So that was... That's a half. Okay. If you haven't nailed his feet to the roofs, he'd be pushing up daisies. Yep. Okay, there. That's more better. -er. All right. So that's four. The Tinny Word Skirt Skit. I don't remember all the names of them, but I do like Monty Python. All right. Okay, so that should be five. One, two, three. I'm pretending it's five. I really need my visor on. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm saying that's five. We're going to run with it. You won't sleep until you watch them all, right, Kiki? Well, you have a good excuse for just relaxing and watching Netflix. All right, so uh, let let's let's do the green one. Slurp, yeah. Life of Brian. <laughs> Sorry, I was chugging water. Okay, so we're going to start with one bead. That's the only problem when you're dealing with these really long lengths. I was getting so tangled up I couldn't remember if I if they were um, full knots or square or half half knots. <laughs> you read typo knees. <laughs> okay. There is half. One. Now I have to get another bead on there. Okay.
you couldn't keep all that wire straight? Yeah. Yeah, Nightbot, Nightbot is busy tonight. Yep. All right, so that's a half because we're doing one and a half on either side of the kitty shank. So now I'm going to do a full one. Stay over there. Here comes the math. <laughs> Always count the middle lines. Two equals one square. Oh, God, she's doing math now. So that's, here comes the math. Oh, I always count the middle lines. Two equals one square. So that's one, two, three, four. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing half. But we won't, we won't, um, <laughs> we're not going to mention that. So two, two equals one square. Okay. Don't tell anybody that there's a half a square missing there. Okay. Now I'm doing a full square underneath the kitty. You're confused. Oh no. <laughs> you can't get confused, people. You're supposed to be telling me what's going on. Okay. No kink. No kinking allowed. There. There's the half. All right. It's time to unwrap these now. No kinking. Kinking is not permitted. There. Out. Dang you, kink. All right. There. Oh, hell's bells. Yeah. <laughs> If it's done right, the if it's done right, the left or right hand rounded bit. Oh, I'm not following that, Karen. The way I knew it would do that experience. Okay. Um, kitty. Green kitty. Come on, kitty. Okay, scoot yourself up that way. Okay. And now this wire isn't so obnox obnoxiously long. Okay, there's that. A Burma kitty, yep. What happened? What happened? You zigged. You should have zagged. Did I just say that this wire was short enough now that it wouldn't get obnoxious? Fold ya! That's the half. And now I'll end with a full one, right? Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now I'm doing a full one. I just did a half a one. Mm. 
That's not correct. I don't believe. No, that's not going to work. There we go. That'll work. Okay, this is one half. You're so confused. <laughs> okay. There's that. Okay, now let me just check. Yep, that's one and a half under there. Now we need another bead. No pinching and running away, Patty. I think I'm going to have to zoom out so you can actually... Slides under the coop. <laughs> Confoozled. Confuzzed. You'll get her back. Okay. that over there. Eh. Fudge. Some old betterer. Okay. Another bead. Okay, it's getting to be about nine thirty, so I will put this bead on and tie it on and then we'll do a giveaway. So I got my new medication from Canada today. My Dom Peridone. Oh, wait, Heather, wait, Heather, wait. Don't leave. I'm going to do a giveaway, so just chill out. Chillax. Let go. I'm so tangled up. Okay, get up there. Terry, I didn't see you come in before. Okay. There we go. Okay. 
So let me zoom out a wee bit. Um, now, I showed this to everybody the other night, and you all seem to like it. But I did not. Yeah, bang your head on the door. <laughs> Shoves head out door. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not all that thrilled with the quality of this, and I would not list it in my Etsy store. But if you all if you all like it, then you know I can put it in the pack. It just I'm not I'm not all that thrilled with it, and I just lost my slipper. <laughs> I'm wearing my support hose and I cannot feel my feet. Okay. So let's see what else we've got here. We have that pretty little thing and we've got that pretty little thing and that. And we got one of those. And one of those. I'm digging, people. I'm digging. What am I dig? I'm digging for gold, people. I'm digging for gold. Okay. I'll do two prizes. I'll do. This will be prize one, a square button, and two of the smaller ones, and the, these are beads. No, sorry, I'm not sending you to, I am not sell, sell, sending you my, um, my kitty, sorry. And, and this um, tree. Did I do glass fusion? No, these are vintage check glass bead uh, buttons I keep saying beads buttons I bought them a long time ago off eBay and prize this next prize uh, I'll put one kitty in with that and this will be the other prize okay so is that is that a fair, is that a nice prize? You, you guys are happy with that? Let me pull up next. Let me put up the weekly winners. Okay. Um, I don't see Jan in here. Uh, the following people are not eligible tonight because they've won in the past four weeks. Jan Bedore, Carrie Ann Thomas, Renee Cole, Tammy Thomas, Kiki Dodson, and Mary Forrester. Okay, so y'all um, will have to wait and let somebody else win. Today is... Hang on. I'm trying to dive. Uh, today is the 17th. 2018 and we're doing two prizes so copy pasty okay so this will be the first one here we go <clears throat> oh Janet Janet Visashi Bomb, she won. 
So let me put our name on this spreadsheet. Okay. Janet, which which do you want? Do you want the left pile or the right pile? Hi, Leslie. Thanks for being here. Just waiting for Janet to, to respond. Which one do you want, Janet? Do you want the one with the tree in it? Or do you want this one? Left, please. Okay. So let me write down that. Write down that. Turquoise tree pack. Okay, let's go for the next one. Emily Welda! Emily, you won. You won this pack over here. Okay, so congratulations. All righty, guys. Congratulations. Let me write on here. That's Janet. Okay, and now I need to find a other plastic bag. There's. I know I got some. There they are. Yeah, that's the whole point, Stephanie. Just having a good time. Is em Emily, does Emily know she won? There you are. Great ending to a bad day. Well, I'm sorry you had a bad day. Okay, so that one is for Emily. You wanted the tree? Well, discuss it with Janet. Janet, how in love with the tree are you? Because I'll switch them. You just tell me. You and, um, oh, good night, Barbara. Janet, you and Emily discuss it amongst yourselves. And y'all let me know. I will send these out to whoever you all agree on. A oh, good night, Susan. I didn't think it was worth putting in my Etsy. No, I was not, I was not pleased with it. Um, but these will definitely be in my Etsy store as soon as I can get done with them. Yeah, the limbs are delicate. I just, I'm not all that happy with the way the bale came out. I can zoom in and show you. And, you know, I know that this was, you know, a, a good, uh, you know, I mean, this is, this is valuable prizes here. These are good... These are very, very good buttons. You saw them on eBay yourself. Um, so I wasn't happy with the fact that the bale was not level. You know, it, it's a little uneven. <clears throat> and the loops on the back are just, well, I'm not happy with it. Okay, but yeah, it is pretty. It's delicate, but. Okay, Stephanie. Well, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up.
Okay, so now it's time for kitty number two. And I actually have to do one more half there. Make a discount bin for the not rich. <laughs> yeah, I could do that, I guess. I mean, I don't... I did it again. This. Uh, um, what do you call it? I don't charge... I, I don't charge a lot for my work. I've looked at other people's work and... Um, you know, I'm, I charge at the low end because I want people to be able to afford it. But... Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate your comments. I do. Okay. Kitty number two. Yeah, call it the old, old clucker bin. That's a good idea. I will do that. Okay. There is kitty numero two. Oh, well, thanks, Heather. I appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Okay. Oh, move up the screen, dum-dum. Come back here. There's half, half, and now I do. Okay. A full one. The buttons check check out are as expensive as somewhere up to $13.99 each plus shipping. All right, well, that just goes to show you how much I love you guys. Um, so my gifts tonight were rather generous, so please consider supporting my channel. And uh, please support my Etsy store for your gift-giving occasions. How's that? And make sure to share my channel with all your friends and your social media. Because the more people that subscribe, the more prizes I give away. So, yeah, that was those were those were good. So next week it might just be scrap paper. <laughs> it it it'll have to depend. Hi, James. How are you? You just missed the drawing. Gave away two prizes this time. Okay, time for another bead. Gloria, did my inchies ever show up yet? Poor Gloria is living in a new new country and isn't isn't used to the mail system down there yet. And I sent her her inchies and she still never has hasn't gotten them.
Okay. Still waiting. Oh, I'm so sorry, Gloria. That's not fair. Post offices worldwide should understand the importance of happy mail. Oh, it used to be worse? Oh, my. Okay. Bead number two. I have not seen my son or daughter-in-law all night. I'm beginning to think that they don't love me anymore. Okie doke. Or don't love you any less. <laughs> I will have to have words with him tomorrow. Missing his mother's show. I got into it. I got inspired. Note spinner started gathering stuff and forgot why I'm sending it. <laughs> okay, I have to do one more half. They haven't been around. You oh you scared my son. <laughs> okay. I don't know if she's having a show tomorrow night. I hope she does. Now it's time for Kitty! Kitty number three. Come on. There we go. He's going to be getting a chest. Oh, chest wax. That's right. That's right. If we could get get them over what was it? The 500 hump? Got them over the 500 hump. They would uh, wax his chest. That's right. 1,000, okay. Come here. 1,000 subbies, okay. Live, yeah. <laughs> okay, now we have to do one more half here.
All right, there is the half. No kinking. Uh, yeah, folks, please give me a thumbs up. I don't bite. I'm mildly amusing. According to my dashboard, it says 42 are watching. I can't see the thumbs up. Okay, there's bead number two. Yeah, they do look like jade. They do. These are not translucent. The pink and the red ones are slightly translucent. Okay. That's half. I'm showing 42 people, but that might be off. Would be nice if folks did give me a thumbs up. And now I gotta do a half one. Yeah, everybody kind of bailed. Um, after the drawing. That's to be expected. Oh, I like lace, yeah. I'm hilarious, especially when I try and do math. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eh, it's to be expected, you know. It is what it is. And there's the half. Okay, Heather. Aw, oh, thank you, Holly. Kitty number four. And you came in after. Sorry, Jada. <laughs> I 
Okay, Emily, go feed the kittens. Okay, there's a half. Now I have to do a whole one. Oh, good night, CJ. Have a safe night at work. Love you, sweetheart. Thank you for using letting me use your brain. Goodbye, girl. Okay. This one's almost done, guys. Once we figured out the spacing and the length and everything, it goes pretty quick. So I hope you guys are having fun tonight. I hope you all are doing something besides watching me. Oh, Heather fell? Oh boy. I don't like to hear that. Karen fell. Falling is not a good thing. Trust me, I, I am experienced in that. Good, Wanda. So you said your daughter is going to ha have her, her own uh, rescue? Or is she, is she rescuing dogs now um, along with you? Hang on. There we go. Top chat. Stupid live chat. Oh good, I'm glad you had you cooked and ate your dinner watching me. Thank you, Holly. Oh, you fell last night. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Rescuing dogs. You're Oh, you're officially retired from rescuing. Yeah, now you're just fostering all the rescues. <laughs> well, hello there. And yep, we're all done with our taxes. They've all been mailed out. Hi, Carol. How are you? You have a great night. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Twice. Oh, no, Joy. Joyce, that's horrible. People, you got to stop falling. Trust me, I'm an expert. It's not fun. Hey, Sean, how are you?
And now I gotta do a half. Oh, that's horrible, Terry. Yeah. I just ended up with a wound that took four months to heal. Ended up in the hospital twice. It's not fun. And there's the half. Okay. Here's the last kitty, guys. There we go. Oh my God. Oh, Joyce. Your best fall. You broke. Okay. T8, 9, and 10. That's tough, boy. Thoracic. That's tough. That's the half. You know, I had. I had. I've never broken a bone. I don't think. Um, no, I don't, I, no, did I? No, I don't think I've ever broken a bone. But I have degenerative spinal disease, so I've had spinal surgery three times. And my neck and my lower spine are fused. Oh, I know what's going on. There we go. Uh, my, uh, Stuff was laying on top of my keyboard. Oh dear. Oh, sorry to hear that, Joyce. That's tough. And there is the half. And now we're just down to. Oh, you have it too, Terry? Yeah. <clears throat> now it's just these last two. Everybody with the back issues, I know. This leg really threw me for a loop, though, folks, because I. My leg was not cut, it was scraped. And it turned into this horrendous ulcerated wound. The, um, <laughs> this, um, what do you call it? Board is resting on my keyboard and it keeps doing things. It's, it logged me out. Yeah, I don't, I used to bounce. I don't seem to bounce anymore. Two car accidents. Oh, boy. Chicken. What's that, Kiki? Chicken. Chickens get MS? Is that what you said? Oh, germs. Chicken germs. Yeah. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe. You never know. Okay.
one more bead and then five of the square knots and we're done. Bouncy, bendy things. Yeah, they're indestructible. That they are. I remember when PJ was about nine months old. Oh my God, guys. My life flashed before my eyes. I took him to the park. And my second husband was on one side of the slide. I was on the other. There were absolutely no gaps anywhere. And we were going to just basically hold on to the back of his overalls and let him go down the slide. Somehow this little squiggle puss ended up falling between a hole that didn't exist and he landed on his head on the concrete. I was, and there was no noise. There was no noise. I, I, I was afraid to look. And then he finally sat up and started crying. He only started crying when he saw me cry. So, wow. Oh, Callie left us. Oh, well, guys, I don't know if you know who this is, but Callie Black was extremely talented artist. Um, she, uh, she lost her battle with cancer and, um, yeah, she died. Ah, oh, she will be missed. She was so talented. She really, really was. Yes, Hellenic Callie. She was so very talented and loved by so many people. I hope her family will let her, her uh, videos stay up on YouTube so that people can enjoy her. Maybe just write something in the, you know, on the channel this morning, huh? Just write something in the description of the channel that, you know, she's no longer with us, but it'd be a shame to have all those videos go away. Yeah, I didn't really know her that well. I mean, I knew of her. I knew I've seen her videos. Um, but yeah, she, she was a trooper boy. She had so many issues, so many health issues that she battled with. All right, there's one. We have to do four more square knots and we are done. Oh, stop moving. Yeah, she did. Yeah, Helen, she she had a lot of issues. I think she had cancer more than once. She had uh, she was an amputee. I don't know what else her issues were, but um, yeah, she was something special. Okay. Got to do three more.
two more. Oh, thanks for putting that in there, Kiki. Yeah, folks, go over there and uh, watch her videos. You could leave a kind comment um, on the videos if you want, and hopefully her family will read them. You know, just let her family know that you're thinking of her. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I need to move this. I'm trying to count. Two, three, four. I have to do one more, and then we're done. Let me zoom out a wee bit. See, now I have lots of extra wire. So maybe nine times instead of ten times. Okay. There we go, guys. That bracelet... is off the board okay so there you have it let's measure it zoom out a wee bit more so you can see the whole kit and caboodle yeah it's six and a half inches So by the time I finish off the ends and put the lobster claw on there, it will be done. And I will list this in my Etsy store. Um, I'm going to remake the pink one because that was kind of foobard. And then I'll do the red one and I'll list all three of them on my Etsy shop. All right. And um, Janet, congratulations. Emily, congratulations on your wins. I'll get these out in the mail hopefully tomorrow. That <laughs> your size, Kiki. <laughs> so, um, all right. On that note, I'm actually going to get out of here for the evening. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. Please give my video a thumbs up. Please leave a kind comment down below. And please consider joining my, uh, my Facebook group. We're having lots of fun over there. We're doing swaps and getting to know everybody. Um, and uh, please do support my channel by visiting my Etsy shop. And I, I am going to start putting in a, 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 a Cluckers surprise um, discount area. So... <laughs> All right, guys. So on that note, I'm going to get out of here. Um, keep uh, keep Kiki in your thoughts. Anybody else that's sick or going through a tough time, please keep them in, in your thoughts and in your prayers. Um, everybody remember to say uh, a fond farewell to Callie Black and go uh, watch all her videos and leave some kind comments for her family to read. Okay, guys, I wish you all love, light, and laughter, and I will see you right here on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. Okay, so good night, everybody. Hi, everyone, it's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now.